Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Now before you say anything, I know it's been a little while since we've uploaded I'm blaming Hayden. Oi. But anyway, we are going to commit now to weekly videos. So be sure to subscribe if you want to check those out as soon as they're available to you. Anyway, let's get going. We're gonna take a look at a question type today that we like to call three missing letters. Let's take a look. In this question type, it's our job to read the sentence we've been given. So let's do that to start with. The man shaved off the BD on his face. Now, you'll notice that that word in capital letters isn't really a word. And what's happened is three consecutive letters, that's three letters in a row, have been taken out of a word. And it's left us with BD. It's our job to figure out what those three letters are. And we're given five options underneath to choose from. So let's see how we're going to solve this question. The man shaved off the BD on his face. The first way we can solve this is quite simply just to think of what word could make sense. Now, what could a man shave off their face? Well, this is also very limiting already. It really could only be a beard or hair on their face that they'd shave. And with the letters BD, I think that might be a match. So I'm gonna put BD in, and you'll notice now where the three consecutive letters come in. So in the middle, I'm gonna do three gaps, and what letters are missing? Well, let's try and solve it. Beard, B. E, A, R, D. So the three letters we took out of the word beard is ear, E, A, R. So let's see if that's an option below. O, R, E, no, O, A, R, no. There we go, C. The answer to this question is C, ear. Next question, let's put our technique to the test. Let's read the sentence. I place the packages on several shelving us. Us, hmm. I'm not sure what that word could be. You might have an idea already, but what I'm going to do now is go to technique two. If you can't figure out what the word will be on its own, go to the options below and start trying to put these three consecutive letters into the capital letter word and the sentence, in this case, us. Just be warned that these consecutive letters can be taken out from anywhere in the word. It doesn't have to be in the middle. Could be the start, could be the end. So we have to be really systematic when we test out possible answers. So let's look at A, mit. Can I put mit anywhere? Mit us, and you could start writing these out like this. Mit us, no. You could put it in the middle, you mit, that's not a word. And then finally we could put us and have mit at the end, us mit. None of those are even words. So I'm gonna get rid of A very quickly. Let's do the same for B, which is knit. So let's put knit at the start. Knit us, doesn't make sense, not even a word. Next, let's put it in the middle, so we have the U at the start, then we put in knit, and then S. Aha, that is a word. Units is a word. Let's see if it makes sense, because that's really important. The, the actual sentence must make sense. I placed the packages on several shelving units. Yes, shelving units are a thing. It makes sense in the sentence. It's spelt correctly. The answer to this question is B. Question three now, and we're really getting the hang of this. Just remember, those three consecutive letters could go in the middle, the start, or the end. It could go anywhere. Question three. It was such a S-E that my favorite show ended. It was such a C. Such a C. I'm not really getting any hints from that, and I don't think I can solve it, so I'm gonna look at my options and start working systematically. So, tat. It was such a tatsy. That's not a word that makes any sense. Uh, let's put it in the middle. It was such a stat with an E in it. Aha, state. That's a word. I'm going to put A as my answer. I'm going to get the mark. No. Remember, the sentence must make sense. It was such a state that my favorite show ended. Don't be tricked. Just because it makes a word doesn't mean it makes sense in the context of the sentence. It is not the answer. And we know if we put tat at the end, it's C tat. That's not even a word. So it can't be A. You're going to notice something about these next few answers. They all make words. So here with par, we could put it in the middle and we could make spare. That's a word. Doesn't make sense in a sentence. It was such a spare that my favorite show ended. No. C makes the word spine. It's a word. Does it make sense? No, it's not C. Tag can make stage. We put it in the middle again. Remember, it doesn't have to go in the middle, but stage is a word. It was such a stage that my favorite, sh no, 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 not right. You would have to get all the way to the end here and put ham in the middle. And notice something, and this is always true for these word questions, 
the sounds the letters make change when we put in the answer. A classic trick in the Kent test for verbal reasoning. Ham, that A sound goes from A in ham to A when we put the E at the end. So just be aware of sound changing too. Top tip, write down the new words that you make. For this question, the answer is E, ham. One more question that we're going to go through together. So we're really basically experts at this point. We know the three letters can go anywhere in the word, the start, the end, the middle. We know to watch out for any of those tricky sound spellings that are changing. And I think we're going to be able to do this one really easy. But just beware, there's one more trick. We're going to take a look at it now. She gave a look of pure desp. Do you think you know what the word is? I think I know what it could be. I think it's despair. A look of pure despair. So I'm going to look out for that sound and I think we're going to solve this quickly. Let's look at A. Uh, A R E R. Can we put that anywhere? Well, let's put it at the end because I know it can go anywhere in the word. Desp. Air. We've solved it. It's A. She gave a look of pure despair. Wrong. That would not get you a mark. And I wonder if you have already figured out why, even though we've got the right word despair, this would not get us a mark. Yep, it's testing your spelling. This is not the correct spelling of despair. So lots of people might put this as their answer, thinking they've got it, rush through to their next question and get nothing. Let's just keep testing out the rest of them to see if we can find the real answer. B is ear, despair, deresp. No, it just doesn't sound right. It can't fit in there. C, aha, A-I-R, despair, I think might be spelled this way. Let's write it out to make sure, one of our top tips. Despair, D-E-S-P-A-I-R, that looks better. That's the correct spelling. In these questions, they're testing if you know how to spell these words correctly as well. Don't get caught out. The answer is C, air, to make despair. As always, there is a question for you to have a go at at home. Be sure to leave us a comment down below if you've got the answer and use the techniques we've just talked about. See you in the next video.